Hello everyone, welcome to Tector.com. As I promised yesterday, today in this short video, we will be discussing about 100 days plan. Now these are the three main topics. So we will first talk about this plan, okay? And then this is kind of most important thing where we discuss how do you effectively utilize it and then the conclusion. So before we start, I would really uh, recommend you to take a printout of this sheet and paste in, in front of your study desk. Uh, this sheet can really work as a study tracker or a preparation tracker for you because uh, when I discuss this, you will actually realize. So let's let's jump into it. So you will see that there are uh, various columns in this sheet. So starting with uh, the first thing, which is the CC and PC. So CC says course coverage and PC says practice coverage. Okay. So say you start prepar preparing today, which is now uh, as of now, when I'm recording this video, you have 99 days remaining. So say you prepare for sets relation function. So once you have covered the syllabus from notes or wherever you are preparing, you can take this. Okay. And then once you have also done enough practice, you can click this. Now, of course, the time is really less. So you have to be really effective. Okay. And it's always ideal that you refer the same course material or same preparation material from which you have learned. But uh, on TechTed, we have also created various courses. So you can navigate to TechTed and inside courses, you will see various courses has been created. So say inside maths, you will get this course. Okay. And you also get your completion status here. So say once you have, you are in proposition logic, you learn this and you can click on mark and complete next and that's how your preparation is also recorded. Okay. So this video is completely like created by the contributors and we have utilized the resources from internet. Okay. And of course you can join the discussion down below as well. Okay. And once you return back to the course, you will see that your completion status will also be updated. So this is nice way of also preparing if you don't have, uh, some notes to refer. Okay. And uh, then you will see that each test is aligned during weekend. That gives you the benefit that uh, you will be free, free during weekend and will be uh, able to attend, attend the test. Now you can see that once say you have covered the entire subject. Okay, let me take it for you, for example. Okay, then at the end, you also get to know that, okay, this is the subject which is still remaining on which I have to make some practice. Okay, so this is like, this is always in front of you that uh, what is something where you are still lacking and you need practice. Now at the end, you can check like, okay, this subject is done. And for the test, you can make a strategy that for this test, I'll score say 80%. Okay. And at the end of the test, once the test is done, you can actually see that what was achieved. So le let's say if 70 was achieved. Okay. Now, similarly, you fill for every test, you do it for all the subject. Okay. Every subject. Okay. And at the end, you just get to know that what are the topics which are still remaining for which subject. Okay. This is just one window view for your entire preparation. Now, there are a few things which you must do for uh, during these uh, 100 days. First one is keeping in mind that how we'll prepare during these last few days where you have full length tests. Okay. So make sure that you have ticked very much important questions for you in each subject, each topic. Okay. And that you can utilize during these days where you are revising for full length test. Okay. And I, I also talk about short notes always. So uh, I'm hoping that you have prepared short notes on each topic for revision and that will really help during these last days in order to revise the things for you. Now at the end, it's really important that after each unit test or subject wise test, you do a thorough analysis that how much of the negative marks you have uh, done and what could be avoided. Okay. In the next attempt, what kind of questions you are doing wrong. So it's really important that you focus on your negative part. Okay. The things where you are getting marks, that's good. Okay. It's, it's, it should stay in same way, by the way. Uh, but you really need to focus on how you can reduce your negative marks. Most of the time I have seen that students, 
are good but just because of you know um, uh, maybe due to exam pressure maybe due to some silly calculation mistakes they secured some uh, negative marks and then you know uh, the entire result was spoiled so i i, I know like uh, it's it's a serious exam there is a lot of pressure but again this entire practice is in order to make sure that you are able to handle pressure okay so i'll conclude the this video now uh, this is really important to understand that if you have your own plan okay i would recommend you to follow your own plan because that is i mean i mean it's always important it's always good that you prepare your plan okay uh, but if you don't have one this is kind of optimized we have uh, given certain thoughts about it and this is something you can follow make sure that you attempt all the tests we will send you reminders of course and uh, do register for the test uh, the first test will be live on november 1st and most importantly uh, bring your serious friends who are preparing for the same exam to join this test so that this entire curriculum can become more close to the actual gate and that would be all from my side it would be really important that you keep yourself healthy during these remaining days and keep yourself focused of course so wish you all the best and we'll see you again and please don't forget to share this information with your friends remember sharing is caring see you in the next video thanks for watching